Hi. We let me get situated real quick. Oh, I look so fat. I'm so glad you guys cannot see. <laughs> I feel bloated. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Um, so before we get started, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to Jeffree Star. I was watching one of his videos and he reviewed e.l.f. cosmetics, like a whole face of e.l.f. elf elf cosmetics and i decided that you know what i've never tried elf i'm at target i might as well get some stuff so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna try out a whole face not a whole face but like like all the recommendations that he gave in the video we're gonna try them out let me show you the haul let me show you the haul first of all i got this primer and i know this is, this is gonna sound crazy you guys but i usually only prep my face with like moisturizer it's the elf Poreless Face Primer, product number one. New face sponge, it's the baking type. It has the little like slanted edge. Um, the beauty blender that I had was literally like, probably like eight months old. And I know that you're supposed to switch them out frequently because bacteria build up. Girl, ain't nobody have $20, $20 to spend on a sponge, okay? No, no, next. The e.l.f. foundation, it is the Flawless Satin Foundation. It's oil-free and it has medium coverage. Girl, this is what I need, okay? Because the one that I'm wearing right now is um, L'Oreal True Match. Considering I can't like go to a Sephora or like an Ulta right now, and I can't like watch my colors to see like, you know, what say, what, I cannot talk. What shade is going to match me, I, just have to rely on drugstore products. So that is why we're doing this, because this is supposed to be the best, and if it is the best, it is the best. So, 16 hour camo concealer, and this concealer was also in his tutorial, um, or his review video, and this is supposed to work magic. Also, I would really like to point out that all of these containers, um, even, I mean like the True Match one was too, but, these are all in glass um, bottles, so that's really cool. Shout out Elle for doing that. And then we have Matte Magic Mist and Set. So this is going to be a setting spray. I, shockingly enough, again, I do not use setting spray, which is probably why I'm so oily. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, like, until I started, like, watching his videos, I was like, damn, like, I don't really, like, feel like I need it but um oops of course lashes I am a sucker for lashes and even though my lashes are pretty long naturally um I just really like the way the lashes look so they were four bucks I was like hell yeah give me them give me all of them I'm getting them and then last but not least I have the intense ink eyeliner in black is black it is a felt tip liner this was also I think like four or five bucks so yeah so without further ado i am going to take off the makeup that i have right now and we will get started with this party let's go So, I'm going to spray my favorite Thayer's um, Rose Petal Misting Spray. Okay, I just feel like the oil on the rag, um, on the Neutrogena wipes just don't really, like it leaves an oil behind and I feel like this Misting Spray is going to help, um, you know, get that all off and give, um, give, um, the product a fair chance, okay? So, yeah, um, okay, let's break out this sponge. I have literally been saving to do this tutorial for, like, a couple days, um, but I like to film these at night because, uh, 
because like the lighting that's right by the window I don't want to keep like changing the settings and shit okay Ooh. Ooh. literally I almost forgot that I got this primer so I guess we're gonna shake it up a little bit shake it up shake it up ooh ooh it's like really creamy I like it a nice facial ooh, ooh. it smells like tea tree oil um, wow wow literally like wow that's all I can say all I can say so far so good I am literally living for this already Ava approved since I already wetted the beauty blender I'm gonna go in with this they call this foundation so we're gonna go in with foundation like usually with my nails I can just and like cut it open oh like I just did <laughs> shake it up shake it up shake it up shake it up ooh 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 <laughs> let's go I don't even know if this is my shade um I hope so. Oi! Oi, I'm a little scared. Let's just go in. I don't know if this is my shade. I guess I'll just blend it in a little bit more. Bounce that shade. Bounce it. Honestly, now that it's done, I'm not going to say that I hate it, um, but I'm not going to say it's the best. Better than the Dream Hats for sure. Is it full coverage? No. But it didn't say that it was supposed to be. It said medium coverage. So for what it, for what it is, yes, it's good. It's medium coverage. But I also have this concealer that we're going to use um, because I knew that it said medium coverage and I really like full coverage so this is the 16 hour camo concealer and it is a little bit lighter because I like to use this as a little bit of a highlighter it has a huge tip but we're just gonna go in Wow, guys, literally, I just started blending it and it looks amazing. This is so good. Oh my god, I'm living, living. I have to say that this is 10 out of 10 of this concealer um, for $4. Count me in, count me in all the way. Literally living. I think I'm going to set this and then I'll be back to do the eyeliner and the lashes and check out the setting spray. So that's what I'm going to do so I can kind of finish out the look. Kind of contour my face a little bit, do some eyeshadow, and I will be back. Okay? <laughs> Bye! I'm back. Um, if you hear the banging in the back, it's my mom. It's literally 11.40 at night and she is doing house repairs. So that's cool. Time to move on to the eyeliner. Um, and the reason I got this eyeliner is because, oh, Kat Von D eyeliner that I got was $23, I think. Um, and it was actually terrible. So yeah, go in and 
just try this. Yeah, I'm hold up this Fenty um, thing because it's a little bit closer. I like to start in the middle, in case you guys were wondering. Okay, I mean, I'm not done, obviously, but like it, it glides on pretty well. Um, definitely better than the Kat Von D ink eyeliner, so that's a plus. I hear Bruno scratching at my door. There's just so much going on right now at the house. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna finish up the eyeliner and then we'll put on the lashes. Okay, so there's one thing that I, when I was doing the eyeliner, I noticed. So as you guys can see, these two are fairly, they're even. Like you can tell that they're even, okay? But because the way that this eyeliner is shaped really depends on how you're angling your hand. Um, because even though they're exactly even, um, I guess my wrist was more towards my face. So it got a little bit of the thicker side as you can see um, right here compared to the thin side right there. So I just wanted to go ahead and clarify that this is a very good eyeliner, but that's what happens if, um, when you have a tip like this and it's not just straight, it goes like that, that makes sense. So yeah, nothing we can do now. Also, it's about to be midnight, like nobody's gonna see this, so. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put on the lashes. This is the Lux Lash Kit and it is winged and polished. It says multi-dimensional lashes for full volume and length. So I pulled it out already. I haven't trimmed them yet. I don't even know if I have to, but I usually don't um, use the applicator, but it's cool that they provided this. So let's see. For $4, these look amazing. Let's see. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I think I can get away with not trimming them. So we're going to go ahead and put these on. Oh, you guys, while I was putting on my eyeliner, I went ahead and put on a Kylie lip. Um, but since I'm not a huge fan of Kylie lip and how it dries up, I went ahead and put a gloss on top. So, yeah. Oh, I have one percent. Face snatched. Uh, what are we thinking, you guys? This is pretty much the finished look. I'm not gonna go ahead and put on mascara because like I said, nobody is going to see me right now. So yeah, hi, how are ya? Ooh, 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 ooh. I am obsessed. Hi, hi. The 
this is it before we get out of here and do a review of everything we're gonna go ahead and spray with matte magic and mist mist and set this is the only thing that's not in a glass bottle this is plastic Very refreshing. Okay, let's go over the products that we did. So first off, we started off with this primer, the Poreless Face Primer. Um, I really like it. It smells like tea tree oil. It worked. Um, oh, oh. Um, yeah, it made my foundation look hella good, and I am living for it. So approved foundation um i mean it it did the job it works um it works so much better than the true match and that is definitely what i was going for so approved everybody knows this concealer is from heaven it is blessed i am obsessed with it i am literally living for it we have the eyeliner which is i would give it like a 6.5 out of 10 um, I really like how it's easy to glide on and stuff, but I will say that it is harder to use because of what I said about the tip going from thick to thin. If the tip wasn't so thick at the bottom and it was more so just like a little bit thinner, I feel like it would be easier to use. Formula is great though, it glided on super nice. Setting spray, we'll see. I don't know. But lashes definitely approved because they are $4 and they look amazing. But yeah, this is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this look, make sure to comment below and give it a big thumbs up if you did. I haven't done a video like this in a while, like a hot minute. If you guys like these videos, go ahead and let me know. Um, so I really like them. I think that it's super fun to do and I just love the way that... Ugh, it's just like a transformation, bro. I look so much better with this makeup on. Yeah, let me know. I will see you guys later. Bye. Um. Yeah. Oh God, I feel so bloated right now. Uh. I'm gonna undo these sweatpants. <laughs> It's a little tight.